Hey, stay tuned guys. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you need in your tackle box as a beginner. So we're in that weird area where there's too much ice on the lake to get out in the boat, but uh, there's really not enough ice, in my personal opinion, to be safe out on the water. So uh, let's talk about what's in our tackle box. What I think, as a beginner, such as myself, what you need to be successful out on the water. And to be honest with you, I don't think you really need that much. Hey guys, what's good? So today we're going to go over everything that's in my tackle box, uh, tackle bag, whatever. Hopefully these geese aren't going too loud and you guys can hear me okay. But in, somebody asked to see inside my tackle box and I'm gonna show you, but I didn't wanna leave it just there. I wanted to kind of go over, if you're new, you haven't even bought anything and you're thinking about getting into fishing, what should you buy? What should you get? You know, there's a lot of confusing things out there and depending on who you're watching and who's selling what, you might just be buying something just because somebody's trying to sell it, right? So first things first, let's just go with the bag, right? The tackle bag. Now this is the one that I use. You can see it's kind of big, but if you've watched my previous videos, so in my co-angler video, you'll know that I started out with something small, just a regular backpack. And you don't need anything more than a regular backpack. In fact, if I go out on the boat with somebody, I actually drop down my gear into that backpack. But if you're going out on your own boat, and you're not fishing from shore, you can go with something bigger. Um, that Rapala backpack is really, really nice. It holds a ton, a ton of those Plano boxes, which is perfect. On top of it, it holds water and food and everything else. I think if I had to pick three things for you guys to use, uh, first things that you would buy right away is terminal tackle. You know, get yourself a box that's just dedicated to terminal tackle. These are just hooks, sinkers, O-rings, jig heads, anything you can use because a lot of the stuff that you're going to be using, you can change the presentation just by the terminal tackle that you have. So definitely invest in terminal tackle, um, but buy the terminal tackle for the baits that you plan on using. Now for actual baits, let's start with the two that I use the most. First is the spinner bait, and I apologize, I don't have any with me. I must have left those in the house, but the other ones are just Sankos or some sort of worm. Actually, I would probably get a couple of different types of worms, but those are like the two that I think I use the most. For me, and again, I'm just new, right? Probably just like you guys are. So I've only found a few baits that work for me. Um, the first one is jerk baits. Now again, I probably have more than what obviously you're gonna wanna buy this is you know at least a couple of years worth of purchases but i would start out with something something like this this is a rapala and it is a shallow diver three trebles and it's muted colors right they're just natural colors again it depends on where you're fishing but where i'm fishing i fish a lot of clear water a little bit of stained water it might get a little bit muddy in the spring but for the most part natural colors I'm always gonna go for natural colors as my first choice. But now just so you guys can see, cause you know, you wanna see inside my tackle box. Here it is, these are all my jerk baits. Um, you know, you got your chromes, you got your bright colors, you got your muted colors or natural colors. And you got something with just a little bit of color, you know, some oranges built in. And these are translucents. And these are actually topwater baits. They are uh, just bladed baits. All right, next spring bait that I like to use, crankbaits. So now this is my tackle box. I mean, I got some deep divers up here. I got my lipless crankbaits. Um, I got my bigger shallow divers. And then I got the rest of them are just kind of just shallow divers, but they're in different colors, right? So I got a little bit of orange with brown. I got my sexy shads, I got my chrome. And then I've got some like brighter colors here. I, I, I only use them ever in the spring, sometimes in, in the summer and fall, if it's 
super windy. Super windy, I'll use them. But for the most part, lipless. If you were gonna buy crankbaits right now, I would go with lipless. Lipless. And this one is one of my favorite ones. This is just a perch color. It's got some orange on it. It's a rattler. And it's relatively heavy. The other one that I, I like is this type of shape. I don't really like this color all that much, but it is a loud rattle and it's a little bit thinner profile. And it's, I would probably get a different color. I'd probably go with like a, like a sexy shad type color. It's probably all I'd buy for, for crankbaits. I don't do a lot of deep cranking around here. Maybe it's something I should be trying. I don't know. You tell me. Next spring bait that I would probably use are jigs. And those would probably actually cross over in the summer too. And I don't have a whole lot. Um, you know, I have some swim bait heads and I have various colors. This one's white and green. Uh, I've got some orange and browns. I've got some green pumpkin or whatever that is. I've got some micro jigs. This one's black. And then I've got some, uh, I guess what they call Arky style jigs. And same deal, I got just a few different colors, some greens, some purple and browns. Uh, I got some um, football heads. Actually, this is actually, I think, the only football head jig that I have. This is brown and purple. And on top of those crankbaits, you can go plastics too, right? You can go imitation craws of different colors. And I think that would be it for spring. I think if you were to get yourself just a couple of baits, maybe just say one or two from, from each one of these buckets would probably cover you. Again, keep it muted colors if you're fishing, uh, you know, relatively clear water. Add a little bit of color or sound if you're going, you know, muddy, dark water. And I lied, I do have my, my spinner baits here. This is my number one, go to white. Can't go wrong with white. Get yourself a black on top of it. I think those are the only two colors that you need. All right, let's talk summer. Summer, if you saw my video, my quick tip there from last summer, you'll know that slow it down. Extremely, like really slow it down. And this would go for anything that where the fish are just being temperamental, right? Just slow it down. My number one bait, and I know that people hate fishing these baits, my number one bait is Senkos. And this is my box of Senkos. I got, I try and get any color I can. This is actually a mix box from Bass Pro. Although those Senkos work really, really well, you do want to mix the type of worms that you have up. So I have these X-Zone ones. They don't have to be X-Zone, but just get something a little bit different shape. Check this out. This has got this like, just this weird shape. It's got this big fat tail. This one, this one kind of floats, so it's buoyant, but just change it up. And I'll tell you a story. I, I was fishing a, just a club tournament and I had a Senko out and I tried it a few different ways. Getting back to terminal tackle, right? When you have different hooks, you can go uh, Texas rig and, and, and wacky rig and whatever else, depending on the, on the terminal tackle, just using the same bait, just rigging it different ways. And I had, I'd I rigged it up a couple of different ways. I wasn't catching anything, anything. There's no way there's no fish there in the weeds, right? I mean, there's fish there. So uh, my buddy that was with me, the boater, he handed me uh, a trick worm. It looked a lot like those Exo ones that I just showed you. He handed me a trick worm. I didn't change anything about it rigging wise. I just threw it out there. It was actually wacky, I think. I just threw it out there. And magically, I started catching fish. I had my limit. It was just that subtle change, right? So that's why I say, if you're gonna get, you know, plastics, you can't go wrong with them because they're they're relatively cheap. Um, get yourself a different, a couple of different kinds, you know. Throw some sinkos, throw some trick worms. Just get a few different kinds. Change the way that you're you're throwing it if you're not getting any. And that would be my first thing: worms. Get yourself some worms. Throw these green pumpkins. This one has like some flake in it. It's got a little bit of uh, color in it. Um, I'll use ones with orange on them, just a little bit different. I'll change colors too, because sometimes colors will, will matter. 
for whatever reason. Drop Shot for me is my next go-to plastic slow-mo version, and there's a few different kinds that I get. So here I have some red. This is just something I got, I think it's like in a Lucky Tackle Box or a Mystery Tackle Box that I got a long time ago. And I actually really like the red. This is a translucent red. And I think this is about, I think this is about three inch. And then moving on from there, uh, again, this is if the water is a little bit more dirty. And the next thing that I would do is go with these Biospawn. You guys have obviously seen this in my other fall fishing video. And I definitely need to get some more of these because it's my last one. This is a purple with a red, uh, a red tip on it. And that red tip floats. Very cool. Caught some decent fish off of it. And then if you've really been paying attention to my videos, you'll know last fall, I fell in love with these X-Zone Slammers. And these ones again are just really, really small. I think these are two inches, two and a half inches. And they're the smoke color with this copper flake in them on the bottom, they're white. They're very, very cool. Highly recommended. Uh, I'll link to a video up in the card section there on the top that, uh, that I caught a ton of fish on in the fall. So, I mean, again, these will move you into the fall which I can't really speak a whole lot about because I don't do very well in the fall. I've done a few tournaments and I think last year I did a, a I think it was a club tournament. <laughs> I caught one fish and it was actually on a spinnerbait. So there you go. So fall, I guess I would go with spinnerbait, maybe some plastics. Saw some people fishing with A-rigs. So I don't know, I might give those a try next year. And so I guess with my limited knowledge, quickly skimming over fall, I would go spinnerbaits uh maybe an a rig although i've never used it so i probably shouldn't talk about it and then things like drop shots which i had good luck with last year maybe swim baits but since we're showing off my my tackle box as well um i'll just show you i mean the backpack i really brought this backpack because it has all my plastics in it and i have uh, a variety some of them i've never even used like this uh, i got some swim baits i actually picked those up for fall i didn't end up using them i have just all kinds of swim baits different colors worms out the yin yang i got worms by everybody you can think of yum uh strike king i got worms all over the place and most of them are those green pumpkin now i have these and these uh i've got some white ones and i've got some white and pink ones depending on the water color that I throw on the end of spinner baits in the spring. And I really, really, really like these. I think they add just that little extra that the fish want. You know, I got some bio spawn with some weird, like, I don't even know how to explain it. I think Seth Fighter fishes these. These are these, I don't know what you would call them. They're weird. They're like those little, like those tools that you see you put on the drill and they can, they can bend so you can put in a screw at a weird location. I have some craws, you know, this is perfect, perfect jigs, the perfect trunk. Uh, that are probably meant for trailers, but I, I use them as soft plastics instead of jigs. I have some tubes. I've got some, I, I don't have very many. I've got some white tubes from X-Zone. I've got some copper tubes by Lunker Hut uh, and some uh, revealer tubes from Lunker Hut. Craws and worms. I mean, I've got just kind of a little bit of anything. I think most of my tackle is soft plastics. All right, my other summer baits are topwater baits. Uh, I don't really think I've ever used them in the spring and fall. I don't know if they would work in the spring or fall. Maybe I should try it. But anyway, I have I have some buzz baits, some weird ones. Like this one's a really, really big fat one. But then I have like the regular like spinner bait, buzz bait, you know. And then after my, my buzz baits, I have my regular topwaters here. And you can see here, I've got some frogs. This is just a regular frog. This is a popping frog. I've got some uh, pencil baits or stick baits. I've got some poppers. I've got some plastic frogs. You know that these are the Strike King. Uh, I don't know what you call them. They're not really like a paddle tail, but. And then I have uh, just these. These are like frogs, but they're but they're shaped as a bait fish, bait fish instead. And honestly, most of these I probably got from some box or bargain bin or something. Most of the time, what I'm using are these poppers and it's exactly these poppers i like these green ones i have this black and red one but i don't get a lot of bites on it so i kind of stick with that green one and that's it there's only one other box and this is my i don't know what you call it go-to box i guess this is the box that i try when i'm going on a on a, another person's boat or i try and can 
dent my tackle down into one bag. This particular box is the one that I use kind of exclusively and then I have the other boxes just kind of uh, pared down into like one bait of each type. Great, the geese and the swans are fighting. All right, hopefully they don't get too crazy on me, but this is it. There's not a whole lot in here, to be honest with you. Most of it Senkos uh, with a few different colors, right? We got that orange and green. We got some brighter greens, some darker greens, some super bright greens. I've got myself some chatter baits. I'll usually throw a spinner bait in here as well. I got some swim baits. I got, you know, white. I've got pink. I've got... Uh, these ones, which I really, really, really like for spring pike. Um, I shouldn't say spring, summer pike. Um, it's a little bit smaller and they don't make these anymore, which is sad. I don't even remember who makes them. And then I got uh, got some spy baits. And, and that's kind of it. I've filled this up with a few other things. Obviously, you know, um, I shouldn't say I'll fill this up. I'll bring some drop shots and stuff separately, but... Um, for the most part, that's that's my summer go-to box. And that's it, guys. That is all of my tackle. I know it's not a whole lot, but I don't think that you need a whole lot. Um, again, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's why I'm not catching as many fish as everybody else. But I would like to know what's in this tackle box that one, either you really like because you use it too, or two, I'm totally missing and I should have it in my box to try. But anyway, that's it. I hope you like it. If you did, hit that like button. If you didn't, hit that dislike button. I'm totally serious. Hit the dislike button. I'd love to tell. I'd love you to tell me why you disliked it, though. I'm serious. That's it. This is again is the tackle Tuesday. So this is on you. I made this because somebody asked. If you have something you want to talk about, ask me the question. If you have something you want me to show you, I'll do my best. Again, I'm new like everybody else. But that's it. Tackle Tuesday. See you later. Hey, one last thing. You guys have seen this bait to go thing that have been in a couple of my ice fishing videos. Well, I made a few videos just for fun because I really, really, really like this thing. And, uh, and the guys from bait to go saw it and offered to give you guys 20% off. I'll put the code down below. 20% off this thing. If you fish live bait and minnows, even worms. I mean, this thing holds any of your live bait. You guys should be fishing it. It's super awesome. I do get a kickback from it. So it is actually really appreciated. If you go to their website, bait to go buy a couple, buy a hundred. <laughs> anyway, if you guys are interested, if you want to know more, let me know. I'll tell you more too. See ya.